What is going on everybody? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do an ocean wave text reveal. This is very similar to the first text reveal that I did a year or two ago where I showed you how to reveal text behind a car or an object or a person even. And it's very similar because when you're doing a draw mask and you're masking up the text, you're kind of you're kind of using a straight line and you're just doing it that way. Whereas this tutorial is going to be a little different because the waves are not a straight line, of course, and you're going to have to add a little bit more points. But it's really easy and it's really simple. Anyone can really do this as well. And I'm going to show you how to do it without any plugins, of course, because this doesn't require any plugins. Now, this is what you guys are going to get here besides the kind of uh, over overlay that I applied. This is a plugin. It's not a free plugin, uh, but you guys can do a seven day trial if you guys want, but not sponsored by Red Giant. But this is what your video is going to look like here. And it looks really cool. Now, this one took me half an hour to do because I did it frame by frame. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it a faster way because I found that I mean, this shouldn't take you that long to do. So I want to show you how to do it the fast way. Um, but if you want to do it the long way, you would have to do it frame by frame. So keyframes are required for this tutorial if you want it to look good, of course. Now, uh, first thing you want to do is you, of course, want to add your video. So I'm going to start from scratch here and I'm going to go into my video, into the projects. And this is the video that I got. It's a royalty free video that you guys can download. It's from YouTube. All Everything that I'm going to use in this video is going to be in the description. So check the description for everything. Okay. And including the font, the audio and all that stuff. So this is the video here. It's about, I don't know, a minute long, about a minute and a half or two minutes long. And I want to select this part here where you can see a big old wave come through. And that's where I want the text to reveal. So I'm going to use the blade tool at pressing B and I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to start it around here. And I want it to end a couple seconds after, like maybe here. Then I'm going to delete the ends and I'm going to shift Z or press shift Z to fit the clips to the time head or the uh, timeline. So now we want to add our text. So go to the titles and generators, go to titles and drag the title called basic title above that clip here. And you want to trim the ends. So delete those. And we want to change the text here. So go into the inspector window and type in uh, whatever you guys want. I'm going to type in Hawaii or Hawaii. Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, P uh, my subscribers who are from Hawaii. You guys are absolutely awesome, though. I want to visit Hawaii, even though I haven't. Increase the font all the way up. And I'm going to move this so it's centered like that. From this point, what you want to do is you want to create this text here as a groups clip because we, we don't want it we don't want when we add the draw mask to be constantly moving the the text which is very annoying so right click click new compound clip and just name this text and click ok so now it acts as a video clip but it's really a text you can always change the text if you want um, but you probably have to change the keyframes because you know if you add more words you're gonna have to change the length so if you double click on that you can change the color and everything as you would okay so from this point you want to go into the effects go to the masks here go to draw mask and drag that directly on top of the text there from here what you want to do is you want to go into the inspector window by clicking this little button here I'm going to draw mask and you have the uh, you should have like a little pen tool and drag or just yeah drag the time head where these big old waves start to hit the text. So right here, like right right there, right before it even hits it. What you want to do is you don't want to create a line like this. That's what you don't want to do. What you want to do is you want to go with the wave. Now, depending on how fast the wave goes, you will have to adjust this accordingly. But if we're, if we're using the same video here, this is what we would do. So we would click and drag to create a, a kind of like a, a little curve. Then you would click around here again to create another curve. Then you would click here to create a third curve. Uh, from this point, what you want to do is you want to go all the way over here, literally to the very end out of the frame here and all the way up here. And you want to finish it off by clicking the first point that you created. From this point, what you want to do is you want to invert the mask so that everything that's in here 
is going to be the opposite. So it's going to hide everything that's in here. And it's going to reveal everything that's on the outside of this box. So click Invert Mask. Now, once we've done that, this is the fast way of doing it. Assuming that the timing and everything is correct, because you could you would have to slow this down as well if the video is not the same instead of adjusting the masks or the keyframes. So go to control points and click this little plus icon. This will add your first keyframe. So now all you gotta do is go a couple of seconds into the video here. And it, like depending on how long the text is, this will change of course, but assuming we're working with the same video here, we're gonna move it around here. And then once you have this enabled and you will know that you've added a, a keyframe because you will have this little uh, left arrow, you would drag all of these points to the left side. So drag them all the way over here. And now you will notice that the text is starting to reveal. So drag this all the way over here like so and kind of have it so kind of where you start it. So like or where you started it. So kind of create still create that little curve. So now if I go back, you're going to see that it's revealing itself. And that's the super fast way of doing it. But it's not perfect, as you can see. Now, this is the problem with you know, obviously uh, using one frame or two frames, two keyframes. But if you do this every single keyframe, you can choose where you want each of these points. And that's what I did for my other one that took half an hour to do, where this one took me literally a couple of seconds. Now, if we go back, you can still adjust these. If you if you go back to the first frame, you can click this little arrow to go in between points. So this will take you to the last keyframe and this will take you to the first keyframe. Now, let's say this is too much of a curve. Well, you can just create, you can move this up a little bit and move this one down a tad so it's not that curvy. So now if I push play, it will look a little nicer there. And you can see that even still, this is still too like curvy there. We'll go to the first keyframe here and we're going to adjust this even more like that. So now if I push play, it looks a lot nicer. Okay. And then all you got to do now is we don't have a feather, so it looks very choppy. We want to create a feather. So we're going to increase this around 30, depending on how, you know, how, how drastic you want this to look. So now if I push play, you're going to notice that's a lot smoother and cleaner. And it, this one took me only about a minute if you were to take out the times that I would have to show you how to do it. But, uh, you know, a minute compared to 30 minutes, I mean, is there a difference? I, I honestly don't see a big old difference, although you can, because it's not going to look exactly perfect. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much the effect there. And that's the only difference with the wave is that you will have to create some curves. Now, the last thing that you would want to do is create or not create, but the last thing you want to do is add your audio. So you would go to uh, epidemic sound and you would look up uh, whatever audio music or sound effects you want to this or depending on what clip you want. But assuming that it's the ocean and there's waves, you want to look for wave sound effect. And if you guys want to get royalty-free sound effects, whether it's music or sound effects or whatever it is, guys, uh, you guys can go ahead and sign up with the link down in the description of this video. And you guys will be able to get 30 days of free uh, royalty-free music uh, to use on your YouTube videos, which is really cool. So you can drag this here and you would drag the... Uh, this one is from the seagulls video. I couldn't find a seagulls one in the uh, in epidemic sound for some reason, uh, which is kind of weird. But they still have a whole bunch of bird sound effects. But I wanted a seagull, so. Uh, and then once you put them both together, this is what it's gonna look like. So it looks really, really cool. Of course, you would add more effects and stuff, but this is just the basic idea of how to do a text reveal with an ocean wave. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down below for other video ideas that you guys want me to do. Subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on a video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.